So guys, uh, my cabinet, but I uh, ordered uh, a Ryzen, C uh, Ryzen PC, a mini PC, the Desk Mini A300. So now I have switched to Windows. I'm still setting everything up, but I already got Attack Mode working with a few changes with the HyperPy team. Um, for example, I can now also play Steam games, but I haven't set them up. I did create already the, the videos, the wheels, the flyer, as you can see on the back. Uh, I did set up MAME. So if I go to Arcade. I can launch it. Um, and I also ordered a, a Stream Deck Mini, which I taped, which I uh, attached to my cabinet, my Arcada One Up, and it allows me, let me try, uh, let me first insert coins. The, the volume is not so loud, so I can change with the button press the volume to from 0 to 25, 50, 75, 100%. I haven't set up any other keys, but uh, it's real nice. Uh, the problem is also some games, for example in MAME, hang on, I have to squeak it. If you can hear it now, the volume is not uh, that loud. But if I go back to the attack menu, the volume is much louder. Not sure how I can fix that. It's from the videos. Um, let me. But I can change the volumes with a button press, so it's easy. Um, these are, I have many systems. I also set up uh, Naomi 2. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. For example, Virtual Fighter 4. It will launch a batch file, and the batch file will uh, launch Demul, but it will also launch an auto hotkey script I created so I can uh, kill an active window, or like close an active window. Uh, by, by pressing two buttons on my uh, arcade cabinet. It's a real simple script and it allows me to close emulators that don't have a key specified for quitting, uh, specifically quitting a game. In this case I have to press uh, this button here. The one on the, on the left, along with my start button, that's my coin button. But yeah, so I entered coins. Let me skip this. So yeah, that's nice. And if I press, let me try if I can. Press the button. No, it's not so easy. And now I press the combination, then it immediately quitted Demu and uh, I'm back in Attract. Um, I added more systems. There is also Arcada PC, but I haven't set up anything up. Basically, Nessica.
so yeah those games um i also changed the attract mode setup script that was uh, included with uh, hyperpy uh, the attract script the attract mode setup script basically um executes as half files in uh, in in, re in retro pi in um on the raspberry pi but you can do the same with cmd exe and bot files so i created a few for a shutdown reboot or setting up retroach if i launch it it should start it you have selected it yeah so it's selected retroach not sure why i can quit retroach from here I uh, have to press the button combination. Hang on. So then I'm back. I press the button combination. And I'm back in the menu. I can reboot, shut down from in Windows. So if I reboot, now it will take a while. I will I won't do it. But if I reboot, it automatically boots into uh, attack mode again. And basically, I'm using the files from. The Raspberry Pi. I'm not using the HyperPi PC uh, version. I just basically copied all files from it, the layouts, the the videos, and started setting up everything myself. I can. I also have set up uh, RetroArch already, so I can start, uh, for example, Game Boy. And it will launch RetroArch with the Game Boy game. So if I press start, so yeah. Not easy with one hand. Or and if I press the button combination again. It quits and goes back. So yeah, it's already set up good, but I still have to set up all those Steam games. I probably have to use Xbox 360 CE. Um, right, take them. I ordered all these during the Steam sale. So Injustice. Street Fighter V, Guilty Gear series, Tekken 7, King of Fighter series, Fighting Hurt, some beat em up, I don't know, a small game, but I got it with uh, Humble Games, Killer Instinct, but none of these have been set up yet, uh, but it should work eventually on my uh, system. Street Fighter 4 Ultra 